Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your daily analysis for Wednesday 14th of May. I'm recording the video now, 5.45pm Eastern Standard Time. I was expecting to see upwards movement with a slowing of momentum for Wednesday's session. That's not what happened, prices moved lower to complete a red candlestick for the daily chart. That downward movement clearly breached the small trend channel I had drawn on the hourly chart. It's not a fourth wave correction, although price remains above the invalidation point on yesterday's hourly chart. It's a deeper second wave correction. I expect in the short term it's, un it's incomplete and tomorrow we should see choppy, overlapping and downward movement to probably end about 1880.37. That could take all or most of tomorrow's session. When that's done, we have a second wave correction complete. I'll be expecting to see a third wave up to new all-time highs, moving up towards the eventual target 1938. Let's look at the charts. The difference between the bull and bear wave counts is in the historic analysis. Both the bull and bear wave counts expect that we're seeing an ending contracting diagonal very close to completion. Within an ending diagonal, all of the subwaves may only subdivide as 535 zigzags. That's why I have the first wave labelled ABC a zigzag, as is the second, third, fourth and the incomplete fifth wave. I don't think it was over here, although the structure could be considered complete, because it would have fallen short of the 1-3 trend line, and that it is possible, and if this invalidation point is breached, that's what I'd look at, but at this stage that's really unlikely because for contracting diagonals the final fifth wave usually ends when price comes to touch the 1-3 trend line or sometimes it overshoots the trend line. Very rarely does the fifth wave fall short of a contracting trend line. So it's more likely that the structure for minuet wave C is incomplete and we've only had wave 1 and now an incomplete second wave down. At 1938, minuet wave C would reach equality in length with minuet wave A, and that target's probably high enough to take price up to at least touch the 1-3 trend line. The diagonal is contracting, so the final fifth wave may not be longer than the third wave, and a third wave may never be the shortest. The fifth wave has a maximum length of equality with 3 at 1973.72. Let's look at the structure of minuet C on the hourly chart where the triangle ends here, this point here. From this low to this high there's more than one way to see this wave count. It does subdivide quite nicely as a completed five wave impulse on the five minute chart. There's a lot of small subdivisions in here that can be seen in different ways. I'll label it as a complete five wave impulse because if we draw a channel around it, it's clearly breached to the downside. So this upwards wave is over and the downward movement to correct it is underway. From this high to this low on the five minute and hourly chart, this movement looks best as a completed impulse. So the second wave correction can't be over there, it can't subdivide as a five. I expect it's going to continue most likely as a zigzag, 5, 3, we need another 5 down, which is very likely to move below the end of microwave A to avoid a truncation, and so it's quite likely to end about the 0.618 Fibonacci ratio of subminuet wave 1, about 1880.37. This little second wave correction can't move beyond the start of the first wave below 1867.02. I'd expect micro B up and then micro C down tomorrow to probably take all or most of tomorrow's session. It could even take a little bit longer than that. When it's done, then I'll be expecting to see a clear strong third wave up which should show an increase in momentum beyond that seen for the first wave and should take price up towards the target 1938, short of that probably, and then a fourth wave and a final fifth wave up to the final target and I'm expecting upwards movement when it gets up there to find good resistance at the upper edge of the contracting trend line for the diagonal. And that's all for me today with your SMP analysis and I hope that all our members had a fabulous day.